Hello everybody, it has arrived, it is here, it is the full release version, one point, already one, <laughs> it's had a first day patch which is fantastic, because you always want to play after the first day patch, it is Sandrock, full release, so let's start again from the very beginning, <laughs> so happy, start again from the very beginning, and play it through as nature intended. <laughs> so, first things first. I am going to be female. Second thing second, I am going to have a voice. Not that high. Probably one or three. I think voice number one. We could have no voice. My name is obviously Shelab, uh, or Sheol. Yeah. Next. Right, so let's have a look. How has the character creator changed since I last did the character creator, which is probably about a year ago? It was a while ago. So face shape, I could go a little more. That's very much like my previous um, character. That's quite nice. That looks a bit gaunt. Let's uh, have a look at other ones. That, the eyes are insane on that. that that's like a uh, certain person later on's eyes that are a bit crazy. But what can I change about it other than that? I can change the roundness of the face. I can make it a bit more. I don't know what I can do about the features though. That's the original. I could make like the face a bit rounder on this one, for example. If I find eyes that I like, I'll maybe change around the face widths and things. Mm. I've got to confirm it and then see. Oh yeah, I've got a lot more options. Okay, let's let's start with this. I might, I don't know, make it a little less, a little less round. Probably about there, I reckon. Right, let's play around with the eyes a bit. So the eye shape, I can pull that in. I can make the eyes bigger or smaller. Narrower or wider. Pupil height, pupil size. Oh, that's a bit better. Pupil spacing. I see, you can go a bit more, like, a little bit more cross-eyed. Interesting. Uh, the eye height, we can bring that down or up. We can make our pupils into stars. looks crazy that looks probably fairly normal or that that's probably the better one so the eye color obviously we want something purplish a bit brighter than that go like that or are we gonna go maybe just like Ooh, I can have two-tone eyes let's go for a default one maybe Purple, you got a blue. You got a darker blue. Change the tone about. Change the saturation on the eyes, which is crazy. Those are really pretty, actually. They're blue with a titch of purple on the bottom. 
Yeah, that's quite nice. Obviously, I am going to take a little while, just for those of you that are probably going to skip character creation or something, I don't know. I'm going to take a while because this is important. This could be, like, easily, like, a hundred episode series. Easily. So you've got to get it right. distance. Bring that inner touch, the eye rotation. Ah, I like that. We can rotate them to be a bit upward pointing, which I think is quite nice. The eye width. Oh, I see. You can make the eyes a bit longer. That's pretty cool. pupils down a tiny bit into the eye as well to match. Nice. Okay, I think... I think I'm happy with the eyes like that. I think. Mouth. Let's have a look. So, the lip thickness I would like to increase a bit. And the mouth size... It looks like the edges of her lips are a little bit like... I'm going to see if there's any like um, lipstick that I can put on. Saturate it a bit more. Yeah, see the lipstick's only in the middle of the face, which is so weird. Her lips go all the way out to there, but... Ah, it's so weird. I wonder if there's anything I can do about that mouth. Mm, let's see. Mouth size, mouth height, lip thickness. Mm. See, in face shape, we've got some different lips. There's those kind of lips. Those kind of lips. Those kind of lips. Those lips are actually really nice. So what I'm going to do, I think, is maybe take this face and change the eyes and nose around a bit. Because I think that's the way I'm going to get what I want. Okay, so let's go for mouth. The lip thickness is really high on that one, still. I'm have it in a touch. That's nice, I think. Okay. Then I'm going to go for the nose, and I'm going to maybe bring the bridge depth out a little bit. Make the nose a touch smaller, but no, actually keep it the same. I'm going to lower it a, bit, a little bit, and I'm going to lengthen it just a touch. See, the problem with the bridge depth is that you can't actually bring the bridge straighter. Which I would like to do, ideally, but... Okay, so now I need to just... Those eyes look way too, like, wide awake right now, so... They need to come down in size a touch. Um, the rotation is fine. We could do with maybe being a touch wider apart? There, they look a bit less crazy there. I width. Oh, I see. Yeah. They actually need to go as long as they can, I think. Bring the pupil size down a touch, and then pull the pupil height. Up. And then... Shape them in. Yes! Yes, this is where, this is where it's at, I think. I may pull them down a touch there. Right, they look much less crazy, crazy eyes. I'm going to change the lipstick over to purple now. Oh, we can change the lipstick style. <laughs> Not that I want them as overlined as that. That is horrible. Ah, right. Right, so lipstick basic colour, let's get that in a nice shade of purple. I 
I said a nice shade of purple. I think we're looking good now. Okay, I'm enjoying this face. This is a good face. Right, next job. Now I think I've got a decent-ish face and I don't think that that looks too crazy. The lips don't look too crazy. The eyes don't look too crazy. I think it's looking pretty decent. The nose doesn't look too... I think the nose was a bit too small before. It was like a little bit too buttony, but now I've sort of made it a bit more realistic. So I think that that is quite a nice looking face. But now we need to... I think actually if purple up the lip highlight, that would probably help. Maybe a pinker? Yeah, that definitely instantly helped. Right, so let's get back to... Uh, okay, ears. Are my ears good? Do they need to be a bit lower down maybe? Yeah, I think so. Um... My facial hair. We did a face tattoo last time. We had, I think, it was this one. I did it in purple. Am I gonna do anything this time? I may not this time. A little scar. Yeah, okay, I am gonna go with a little purple heart on my cheek. I think that's cute. Cute, but understated. Okay, and now we're gonna go for the hair. Uh, eyebrows, eyebrow thickness. We could pull that down a very small touch. I do like thick eyebrows. I think now I've made them thinner, they could do with coming down a little bit. Uh, we don't have anything for eyebrow um, color, so I'm figuring that's gonna match the hair. So hair options. We could go with a ginormous ponytail. We could go with bunches. We could go with pigtails. A bun or a little. Okay. What kind of bangs do I want? Those are nice bangs. Those are bangs that I don't think suit my face. Those actually do, strangely enough. Those are really cute. So it's between those ones, those ones, and those ones. I think those ones are the nicest. Shall we do a ponytail? We didn't do a ponytail last time, and I do like the ponytail. So bang length. Go, go a little bit shorter on the bangs actually and a little bit longer on the ponytail yeah let's have a massive ponytail because that'd be hilarious okay and the actual hairstyle itself I think that that one is the best that one's clearly designed to go with a ponytail that one there is clearly designed to go with like space buns which we could do that is kind of cool Oh, I don't know now. I kind of quite like my space buns look. Let's check. Let's turn it purple and have a look. So hair, basic color. Unfortunately, I'm having to change the color up a bit. Brighter than that. I think that's about right. Uh, do we have any like highlights or anything like that? The tone on it. Yep. What do you think, guys? Purple she lab. I kind of don't think the eyes really pop anymore. I don't. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna change around the eye color a little bit. Eye color. Uh, the eye highlights. Maybe that's what I need to change. Oh, 
Why do you think? Like, go with really sort of poppy blue. Go with the purple. Yeah, I think I like that. I think that is what we're going to go for for now. We will be able to change the hair possibly later on. But I don't know. I think this is like a cute start. So that's what I'm going for. I hope you like it. I hope you like new and improved purple she lab. I actually think I like her better than previous she lab. So I think, I think we're ready. Birthday, as always, will be the 8th of summer. Can we go to summer, please? How do I get to summer? We are 8th of summer, confirm. And that is she lab. And it only took me 16 minutes to decide all of that. Oh, man. starts again there is a builder wanted in Sandrock and Shelab is there to take up the mantle <laughs> and a mysterious bandit is watching her approach I love this game so much. And we'll finish this run. We didn't get to finish the early access run, but we're gonna finish this one. Mian! Hello! Howdy! Hi there! You must be the new builder. I'm Mian, the other new builder. I just got here a week ago. Nice to meet ya! So Mian is from Tall Sky, and I believe I am from Highwind, if I remember rightly. I'm here to take you to the Commerce Guild. The retiring builder and the commissioner are there. Let's not keep them waiting. Follow me. This way. All right, let's go. Let's go, and then I can get my... Howdy Hello. there! Hello! I'm Yan, president of the San Rock Commerce Guild. Pleased to make your acquaintance, yada, yada, yada. Yada, yada, yada. I'll be overseeing you with Mian, but don't think of me as your boss. Think of me more as um, a buddy. That's your uh, uh, supervisor. Yeah. This here's Mason. He's retiring, hence, you know, the whole reason for you being here and whatnot. But you knew that already. Uh, what am I talking about? Anyway. Mason. See that workshop there on the other side of the tracks? It used to be Mason's, but now it's all yours. Ain't that swell? Oh my goodness, look how small it is. Is that really what your workshop's like at the start? <laughs> oh, I had forgotten that. Okay. Just think of all the great stuff you'll be able to make in there for our Commerce Guild. And, well, for other people too, I guess. Yeah, sometimes, maybe. Do something for the town sometimes if you feel like it, but mostly make money for Yan. Yeah, I see how it goes. Uh, well, I am now speechless. Uh, Mason, as the uh, established builder of Sandrock, why don't you say a couple of inspiring words? Um, well, let's not get too friendly. I mean, I am on my way out of here. <clears throat> my workshop is yours now. Thank you. You may find it run down and dilapidated ill-equipped and it is certainly those things but you may also find that the place has a lot of heart i believe that will suffice may you bring telesis to the land now if you'll excuse me i'm off to the blue moon there are only so many more days i'll be able to get my yakmel milk on yes uh, mason i remember likes yakmel milk Okay, so 
Well, he always was a bit awkward, mind you. Anyway, back to business. Before you start, I need to tell y'all a bit about how we work here in the desert. I know you already hold builder licenses, but things are a bit different here from what you're used to. To start with, there aren't too many trees around, so don't go swinging your axe around too much. It's, uh, frowned upon, anyway. But there's plenty of scrap metal and driftwood you can break apart. Yeah, so this is different. Those of you that are joining me for this and haven't um, seen any of it before, you um, get most of your wood and things like that from scrap deposits on the floor rather than cutting down trees, especially around the town because it's frowned upon. The vegetation doesn't grow very well here. It's very dry and um, water is very precious. So. For that, you'll need something called a pick hammer. It's a pick with a hammer, just as the name implies. We use it only because it's useful for breaking up rocks, but it's also durable enough to break up the old world scrap all around here. Easy stuff to make as well. You just need to find some stone and wood and craft it at your work table. Why don't you try making one for yourselves? You'll be needing it right away anyway. I am feeling like my lipstick is a tiny bit off there, but uh, we'll have to ignore that for now. When you're done, just come find me in the Commerce Guild. But, you know, uh, no rush. <laughs> uh, see you there. Right, so we are making our first True. pick hammer. It is pretty easy to make. We should be able to find the stone and wood we need by just searching through junk piles on the ground near our workshops. Picking up things is fun. It really isn't, Mia, but, you know... We can pretend. Hey, let's go to your workshop and see what kind of machines Mason left for you. Let me take you there. I'm already getting pretty acquainted around here, so I can make sure you don't get lost. Oh no, I'll never get lost. <laughs> where is everything? Oh, I don't know where anything is, Mian. Sorry. <laughs> Right, so what do we have here? Hmm, kind of slim pickings. But at least he did leave you a work table. That should be all you need to make a pick hammer. You know, Sandrock is still well known across all free cities for being directly on top of an old world metropolis. They say some old scraps even end up here on the surface when the wind blows. Once we have our pick hammers, we can smash them up and get all the resources we need. See, in this light, my lipstick's fine. Ah, uh, oh well. I'll um I'll take a look at it over the next few episodes, and then if we get to a point where we have a salon or something also, like that. Also, I kind of wanted to say something to you privately. Um, see, the reason I came to Sandrock is because it's not doing well for itself. Everybody in the Free Cities knows that, but I didn't hesitate signing that contract. Mian is so sweet. She's so so cute. She just wants everybody to be happy and like she just gives and gives and gives. She is a lovely person. I thought it'd be the best way for me to make a difference in the world. I bet you feel the same way. So let's make a promise, builder to builder. Let's take Sandrock back to its glory days during our time here. Let's give it our all, okay? Whew. Well, I'm off to make my pick hammer. See you around. Hi, Mian. Mian is just so cute. So cute. Love her. Right, anyway. There is mail in my mailbox. That is probably a good thing to check first. So we've got a letter from the developers. As we've said many times, Sandrock can't thrive without your help. With the new update, we hope you like the new stories and depth we've added to the world. Please bear with us in this long-awaited development time. Our goal is to make Sandrock a great place to take the, uh, to take the journey. And we keep working to improve your experience. Thanks for all the support, care and attention you've given us in the past. And please accept this gift of a luxury tassel lamp as a small token of our appreciation. Thank you. Uh, we are incredibly grateful for your support of my time series and for taking the time to play the game. Your feedback's invaluable in helping us improve and reach new heights. To show our appreciation, we would like to offer you this small t gift as a token of our gratitude. We're thrilled to be approaching nearly 10,000 reviews in case, sorry, in just half a year of early access. If you have any further thoughts or suggestions, please feel free to leave a review on our store page. We look forward to reading all of your feedback and working together to make Sandrock the best it can be from Pathea. 
Thank you for the stuff, Pathea. Lovely. I guess I should put that into my workshop. Let's go inside and have a look. So, I can put my little lamp down. And I can put my little bean bag down. I wonder if I, I'm sure, I must have had these before because I'm sure I had this bean bag in my, in my previous run. Um, so to rotate it is Q. There we are. Lovely. And I think there is, oh, we already have, yes, the home assessment board. Um, so I apparently already have the maximum extra health points I can get from these things, uh, from having three wall lamps and the cute lazy sofa. The luxury tassel lamp gives me some extra stamina, and that, again, is maxed out at the moment. Um, it would be good for me to find something to give me luck, defense, and damage if I can find it while I'm about in the world. The uh, one thing I want to do in this playthrough is to try and keep the home constantly upgraded. I can't believe Mason didn't even have any windows. Like, what kind of dude doesn't even have any windows? I don't know. But anyway, we've got some wooden scraps, so um, I... Oh, okay, I can't pick that up yet. I will have to go and get myself a pick hammer before I can pull that apart, I think. So we've got a little bit of stone there. Uh, so we've got enough, and so we'll run around and find a, a, a scrap pile with wood in it, like this one. And I shall get enough wood to make myself my very first tool. On my workbench, which is over here, which is not where I would normally put it. Um, pick hammer. Okay, so it's going to go through a whole load of stuff about how to make things. Um, but I'm probably not going to read it because I know how it works. <laughs> so we're just going to build it. So, um, it is green quality, which means it's just outstanding. You've got outstanding, uh, perfect, and rare, I believe. And that means that we can now um, break down the stuff in my inventory. Not in my inventory. I've, I've now got that in my inventory, and I'm, I can now break down stuff. Like this dilapidated furnace. Oh, I'm supposed to be talking to Yan. No, no, we don't need to do that. Oh, we did have an axe, so I could have totally taken this thing apart then. I just did not see it there. Okay. So, yard is looking tidy. And we'll go back and see Yan. I keep wanting to say, oh, that's that person over there. That's that person over there. But I'm not going to. We're going to meet them as we see them. But again, for those people that didn't go through the early access run with me. Now, that's a nice looking big hammer. It is the soul of a desert builder. Never lose it. But if you do, well, now you know how to build another one, I suppose. Yeah, I don't think it'll be too much of a hardship if I lose the stone Next, one. Next, let me tell you about the recycler. <laughs> It's another indispensable tool for a desert builder. It's the machine that's synonymous with make do. Look at your dirty feet up on the desk. Ugh. Once it's made, you can put the scrap you collect with your pick hammer into the recycler to get all kinds of useful items. You can construct the recycler on your assembly station. Here's the diagram for it. Just look it up in your workshop handbook. You can also open to it on the control panel at the assembly station. Okay. Eh, don't worry so much. You'll figure it out. I'm back to the Commerce Guild when you finish. Bye now. Okay, I, I'm not worried at all in the slightest. Got any good commissions? No, we'll, we'll look at those in a minute, I think. Okay, let's go. It's a long way to run, right? So, uh, for that, I need a stone trough. And I need grinding saws. Alright then. Stone trough. I'm going to need more stone. Grinding stores. I am going to need more dinas and stone as well. So pretty much. Let's get some stone. That is wood though. That's not stone. Grab some stone from this gravel if I can. Helpful if I could if I could actually find it. 
Now I've got a pick hammer. I don't need to be grubbing around in the dirt for for things like that. Uh, it, why does it keep pointing at that though? I feel bad for not like grubbing around in the dirt, even though I don't need to. Okay, at least I guess rid of the blue arrow. <laughs> Okay, have I got enough now to make a stone trough? Yes, I do. I've got enough to make grinding saws. No, I need to get uh, one more stone and like six more dinas to make two of them. Yeah. So I'll just smash a couple of rocks. <laughs> got to watch my stamina at the moment because I'm early game. So the stamina will be absolutely horrendous for quite a while until I level up a bit. Like that! Lovely. My attack and my health points have gone up. Right, that's enough for one. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I need to I need to grab probably one more stone. And then that'll probably be enough for me to make the second grinding saw, and then we can make our first recycler. That'll definitely be enough. And some. Hey, there's a scorpion! Ah, oh, rats. Right, one of the first things I'm probably going to take in terms of points uh, is going to be the shiny scorpion uh, collector. Okay, so this is your assembly station handbook. It keeps track of all the larger machines you can make. Right now, you can only make a recycler. Let's assemble it. So to do that, you press E lots of times. It will cycle through. If you want to cycle through to something that you don't have much of, or I need the second grinding saw. Um, if you want to add things on, you can press R to cycle through the things that you're putting on there. So there we are, our very first recycler. Lovely. Uh, and we have to now talk to Yan. It's going to be an episode full of running back and forth from the Commerce Guild to my house to the Commerce Guild to my house, I imagine. But that is fine. That is how it works at the beginning. Hey, there you are. <laughs> no, no need to show me the recycler. I'm sure it's fine. You have a builder's license, right? Besides, what's the worst it could do? Explode and burn our whole town to the ground? <laughs> well, probably if it did explode, like there's so much like sand and stuff around, it probably would just go out straight away. <laughs> I don't think they would probably have... Well, if buildings are very close together, they'd probably go up like a torch. But my place is the only one on that side of the railway line, so... The main thing to take away here is that from now on, whenever you have questions, you can just consult your workshop handbook and definitely uh, not ask me anything related to building whatsoever. I am so yes, glad I'll I have you as my boss. I'll be far, far too busy to handle your questions. You're such a good so, boss. So now you have the basic knowledge of a desert builder. Why don't you mosey on over to City Hall and register your workshop? Normally, the mayor handles registrations, but Minister Matilda's taking over administrative type stuff for her at the moment. Where's the mayor? Oh, you hadn't heard? She's off trying to plant things in the Eufaula Desert. <laughs> Didn't no one ever tell her plants need dirt to grow? <sighs> Say, she's been gone for a while. I sure hope she's still alive. <laughs> You don't really sound like you care that much, oh, to be uh, honest. Oh, by the way, I found a couple of extra diagrams I was probably going to throw away. <laughs> but uh, why would I do that when I could just uh, recycle them uh, to you? <laughs> uh, no need to thank me. Consider it a new employee uh, bonus uh, thingy. What do you want? Anyway, hurry over to City Hall and have Matilda register your workshop. While you're out, I'll be preparing a job for you. Hurry back when you're registered. Okay. Can I give you a gift? I wonder what Yan would like as a gift. Mm, maybe some quartz. Not bad, newbie. There we are. Plus one Yan relationship, so it's not that great. <laughs> I'm going to try and give presents where I can. If I had a shiny scorpion, I could have given it to Captain. But no. I do not. 
have to do some fishing later. Oh, who goes there? Oh, yeah. it's you. Oh, it's you. <laughs> I thought you were one of Logan's gang. <laughs> Silly me, you look nothing like an outlaw. And you and look like a wally. Are so <laughs> skinny. Do you even know how to defend yourself? You know the desert isn't kind to the fragile. I will kick your butt pen. Mm. Mm -hmm. It is decided. I, the magnificent pen, the protector of Sandrock, as of five seconds ago, have taken it upon myself to offer you a combat lesson. Well, I can't pass you up on the combat lesson. Splendid. Especially since you showed me your Let's like, go. super jump. Alright then. You know why I came all the way out here to serve and protect? Because this place builds toughness. If you ain't tough, the desert will chew you up and spit you out. People here need to train often to build that toughness. Now, before we spar, you can go pick a weapon from over there. <laughs> Doesn't matter which. All the same to me. When you're ready, come at me. Generally, I prefer the sword and shield. Tends to be what I go with. All right then, Pen. Come, come and attack me. I won't fight back. Oh, you won't fight back, okay. Is that all you've got? Don't tell me you skip leg day. <laughs> oh, look at okay. him. He's you level can swing 30, a weapon around. And I'm level two. <laughs> We're all very proud. <laughs> but can you break through my defense? <laughs> Did I just feel pain? <laughs> Yeah. Don't Break you know defense, any other you just moves? Keep swinging. I'm getting bored. Now oh, why would I need turn. any other moves? I don't need to dodge you. Oh, you're gonna fight me, aren't you? Stand still. This won't hurt much. Ow. I can read you like a book, skinny arms. I don't think I'm going to... This is not exactly a fair fight. Enough. I grow weary of this. Well, I could have probably taken you down in like a war of attrition, but, you know, just punch me. And thus concludes the segment of my combat course titled Never Mess with Pen. I hope you learned something. <laughs> I sure had fun teaching it. I'll come back when I'm level 45, see how you do. The first thing I would do if I were you is to go back to your work table and craft a weapon. But that's just me. Farewell, skinny arms. To be fair, that is good, uh, that is good advice. All right, let's go register the workshop then and we can do some actual builder stuff instead of like combat stuff. Hello, Matilda. Why, hello there. You must be the builder. I'm Minister Matilda from the Church of Light, filling in for Mayor Trudy. We're so excited to see you getting started as a builder here in Sandrock. If you're here, well, that means you must have passed Yen's little audition and you're ready to register your workshop. All you have to do is fill in the name of your workshop and we're all set. Hmm. She laughs. Am I allowed commas and stuff? She laughs, Shaq. I think we're gonna go with that today. That'll do it. If you ever want to change your workshop name again, you can buy a rename card from the City Hall store. Probably not. Congratulations, Builder. Your workshop is officially open for business in Sandrock. Whenever you're ready, you can start taking commissions from the commission board inside the Commerce Guild. Oh, nice. Now, I'm not exactly money, known money, around money, these money, parts money. for my arithmetic, but I do reckon we can expect a lot from two builders as opposed to just old Mason by his lonesome. Work hard, then you'll have plenty of pocket money for yourself too, don't you know? 
I'll plough it all back into the business, Matilda. Hmm. I dare say this calls for a celebration. Normally we have fireside meetings on Sunday nights, but I reckon I'll just round everyone up tomorrow to proper welcome you new builders. Oh, they literally, you must come. It wouldn't be the same without you. They literally never have them on Sunday. They have them just whenever they want to have them. <laughs> but okay. See you then. And congratulations again, Builder. May you bring Telesis to Sandrock. Love of a good bit of Telesis. Okay, so now we need to go back to Yan again. And then we can take commissions, which will be quite nice. What's Mian up to? Oh, hey. Did you get a message from Yen saying, emergency, come now as well? No, I just wanted to do commissions and get money. Wonder what's the emergency? He needed to do some work? Is that the emergency? <laughs> Listen here, you lazy mop stick. Me and my boys have had it up to here with your excuses. Where's our uh, lift, huh? Oh, look! Rocky, old oh, buddy, old oh, pal. Don't you buddy me, pal. Since Mason's leaving, you promised me you'd do it yourself. First it was you had a cold, and then it was your turtle beans. And today I find out you don't even got a turtle. Do you understand how much money I'm losing here? So now, I gotta give you a beatdown. Sorry, pal, but it's a company policy. Oh, uh, uh, wait, no, Rocky, no, look! Well, what I really meant is, uh, I was bringing in new people to take special care of your commission. Uh, uh, look, here they are. Did we come at a bad time? <laughs> no, no, you came at the perfect time. Uh, Mr. Rocky here is the big boss of Eufala Salvage. And he's got a very special commission that we should take care of right away. I am wondering how long this has been outstanding and that Jan has not done the work. And how much money he's already taken off Rocky. With Mason's departure, the commission sort of got lost in the shuffle for a few <clears throat> uh, months or so. But now that you two are both registered workshops, you can take this commission off my hands. <clears throat> uh, help out, uh, right? Oh. Sure. Yeah, sure. That's what we're here for. Did you hear that? Our first big job. Let's do this. Great. See, they're up for it. Uh, what do you say, uh, buddy pal? All right, Yen. Against my better judgment, I'm going to give you one more chance. Great. Listen here, builders. Rocky and his miners are working out of Paradise Lost. You know, that big looking ruins right next to the builder's workshop? My pal here commissioned two crane lifts to move things up and down this real long tunnel they're working out of. And since there are two of you, each one of you can make a lift. Easy peasy for all. Nice. Sorry for putting you two on the spot. If only Yan's doing his job like he's supposed to and... Hey, I'm not your pal. If you're looking for parts, we have a bunch of salvage in our company backyard that you can ruffle through. It's located by the Paradise Lost Ruins. Lots of miners there. Can't miss it. Normally, okay. we charge a weekly fee for access. But here, take a free one-week pass. Oh, that's nice. I feel like late to, late game, I'm just constantly buying passes. Like, every time I go in, like, I'm like, what do you mean it's been a week since I last went in? But early on, you when go in When you're done, often. install it for me as well. G already drew me up a diagram for the lift. So, yeah, you can have it. Hope you put it to better use than this sorry excuse for a builder here. Uh, my, uh, back was hurting. Yeah. Then he found out he didn't even have a back. Mm -hmm. Based on this diagram, <clears throat> we won't be able to find these parts from any random scrap. I guess we'll need to take a look at Rocky's salvage yard. Looks like we'll need to use a furnace as well. Well, we can't finish if we don't get started. Let's do our best. <laughs> Okay, so one thing I want to try and do is, um, from very early on, I want to try and talk to Mian, give gifts, play critters. How's it going? Getting any commissions done? Okay, I want to give you a gift. I'm going to give you, probably early on, a power stone. Oh, thank you. 
plus two. That's not too bad. And let's see if we can play some critters. No. Oh, we're, we're sparring. Oops. Okay. Then again, for me, and I can probably take Mian down fairly easily. Mian is level six, though, but I am reasonable at fighting. Since when have you gotten a blinking? I'm gonna break you. Ranged attack on her daggers. So that's plus five. That's decent. I got goals for that as well. Do you want to play some critters? Um, I'm not that great at critters. Was it's totally luck based though. So for critters, there's four rounds. You choose cards. Uh, like elephant beats mouse. Fox beats cat. Elephant beats fox. Uh, it does show you though what what beats what um to be honest elephant beats two things fox only beats one thing which is the cat the cat only beats the mouse and the mouse only beats the elephant so the elephant is probably the best card to play usually just like stats wise round one round two Round three, I'll play a fox, I guess, because I've got millions of foxes in my hands. Play another elephant. Big win! Woohoo! <laughs> I'll play again. Start elephant again. Then go fox. That's a draw. And go elephant. That's a draw. And go fox again. That was a victory! <laughs> Plus 10? Wow, that was decent. So that uh, little interaction, and this is what I'm gonna try and be a lot better with, um, is, oh. Okay, so you can see, like you can track things with right click. This shows your rewards. This shows you what you have to do. Can check available missions to see which tasks are out there waiting for you to pick. Oh, I didn't know about that. Oops. Maybe sometimes it is good to read stuff. From your social page, you can check on relationships with the people of Sandrock. From the upper tab, you can filter through friends, acquaintances, strangers, etc. Interacting with people in town. Look, I've already got half a heart with Mian, which is like almost as much. <laughs> I think I only ended up with like a heart and a half to two hearts with her last time, so um, more effort is required with her, definitely. And if you've got hearts, you can romance them. And then you can ask them to hang out with you. And from the preferences page, you can record which gifts each member of the town likes and dislikes. And it will record it um, automatically for you. And from social network, you'll be able to see which people are related to each other. And from the relationship perk tab, you can see which in-game bonuses you gain by being friends with someone. And every time you meet a new person in Sandrock, their portrait will become available here. Oh, wow. That's cool. I don't know if that's a new thing or an old thing or what, but we're slowly building up, yeah. Slowly building up all the different people. You can see all the pets down the bottom as well. We're going to start, like, filling in. Some of them, I know who they are already. But it'll be a surprise to you guys, because you to totally are watching this the first time, right? Let's have a look at these uh, commissions. So, the commissions for certain people. Um, I've already made grinding saws. So I know that that's something that I could make. Glass, I don't think I can make yet. I don't think I can make a wooden stick yet, and I don't think I can make thin thread yet. So, that will be what I will take. Hugo's commission and uh have we got only okay so these are not ready yet so you need a two-star workshop before you can start uh, taking the, the growing things missions good to know mm. someone there has a question mark what's that then oh that's Yan. 
Why has Jan got a question mark? Let's go and see. Oh, did you need something? It's you again. Say, since I've got you, did I ever explain the uh, commission board to you? I'll figure it out myself. I do not need a tutorial on the commission board. <laughs> Dedicated to figuring it out yourself, eh? Well, good on you. The less time I have to spend training you, the more time I'll have for, um, you know, uh, big important uh, president stuff. I think you'll find the information you need in the Commerce Guild handbook on my desk. Check it out if there's something you're not getting. Ciao! I've already played hundreds of hours of Porsche and hundreds of hours of this game, so if I don't get the commission board by now, there's something wrong. Um. Oh, changed your mind, eh? Did you need that info about the commission? He's literally going to have that question mark right, above his head until I do it. Listen up, because I don't want to have to repeat myself. The most important commissions that I'll need you to do... Well, don't you worry about that. I'll make sure you know about those. Rocky's crane lift, for example. But for everything else, there's the commission board inside the guild. Townsfolk post less urgent commissions there. Nevertheless, you should still pick up those right away. Good for you, good for the guild. Each commission gets a star rating. One star means it's easy. Five stars means it's for pros only. Want to feel the glory and reap the rewards of five-star commissions? Uh, gotta start at the bottom and build up your workshop equipment and reputation. Since you're a newbie, you can only take one per day. Finish it up quick, then pick up a new commission the next day. As you raise your star rating, you'll be able to take on multiple commissions per day. And we need to do that fast because uh, the only way to beat a certain person to the the glory at the end of the year will be to uh, to uh, make sure I take a commission every single day and get to the point where I can take multiples. At the end of the year, we here at the guild count up who's been doing what around town and divvy out awards to the top performers. The rewards for taking first place are pretty sweet. Uh, but I wouldn't concern yourself with that so much. I mean, I've never lost. <laughs> okay, I'm going to tell you something right now. Right now, you are going to lose in the first year. If it's the only thing I do in this game. Well, that about does it. Got everything? Got it. That's good, newbie. You listen to speech as well. I dare say you have middle management written all over you. <laughs> See you around. You're not even middle management. What are you on about? Okay, so. Got rid of that quest anyway. So let's uh, let's head out to Paradise Lost. Um, I could put my builder's license on my wall as well. Because I believe that gives me a little bit. Uh, let me just check. But it gives me a little bit of points, doesn't it? I think. Oh, it doesn't anymore. It used to. I'm sure the builder's license used to give you a little bit of HP or something. Okay. Well, I'll do that later then. So for grinding saws, I'm going to need DNAS. But actually, if we're going into the ruins, I believe I'll pick up quite a lot of DNAS in there. So that would be fine. Bumble ant with a fire honeypot on his head. Right, so we're going to take down this mixed junk pile. Ooh, the pick hammer would be a good thing to use for that. And I am now level three. Wonderful. And then... I am going to go down to my workshop and put those things into the recycler. And then while I'm doing the recycler, oh, I should talk to the local researcher about a data disk. Okay, let's do that then as well. So first things first, I am going to put the recycler down. I'll stick it down there, I think, for now. Move things around quite easily in this game, so it's not a problem. And then I need to probably make... Uh, I, I need copper sticks and I need... Wood, no, is it wooden sticks? It's wooden stick, bricks, thick rope, copper stick, and bearings. Okay. So let's just do the copper scrap first. Uh, 
Um, in the working queue, you can manage what you're building. This is how long it will take. This is the fuel meter. Oh yeah, you've got to like individually fuel the machines at the moment. I'd forgotten about that one. And you're only allowed one thing in the queue at a time. Okay then. Brilliant. Ah, great. So what I would probably say that I want to do first then is to go and talk to the researcher. So I want that one tracked. Picking up the slack. I just don't have the stuff for it yet. Um, so yeah, we'll just go and see the researcher first, I think. Researcher Chi. There's Hugo, who wants my who wants my grinding saws. Hello, Chi. Nice to meet you. A new builder? Why wasn't I informed of this? You probably were. A data disk? Allow me to explain. Data disks are a type of storage medium made of multiple layers of polycarbonate. While many of them don't contain anything useful, some have troves of data on how the old world built their machines and structures. Now granted, we're not yet technically proficient enough to recreate exact replicas of these relics, but with a builder's help, we can get pretty close. Data disks help me create diagrams for new machines, which you can construct on your assembly station. I keep a collection of diagrams, plus potential future plans, with me at all times. So if you need to build something that's not in your handbook, talk to me. Bring me data disks, and I'll give you new diagrams. Simple enough. Come here when you have more data disks. Okay. So I've got some reputation and things with Chi. Chi is not one that I think I need to try to with so uh we've got some research that we can do we can research a grinder and a processor once we have a few more data disks and it probably would be a good idea to have both of those researched you then have um a refiner cooking station blender jewelry tailoring forging and an intermediate work table that you can go into as well so we will be doing those over the coming episodes It's nice that they put in a machine for that, so you don't have to like wait for Chi to be around. You can just upgrade things. Oh, sorry, research things. Upgrade your researchers. Because to be honest, I haven't even researched them to start with yet. Let's see how the old... Uh, how the old... Recycling is going. We've got anything yet? We've got one copper bar and some dregs. Hmm. Can I build a furnace yet? Uh, 12 stones, stone trough, 4 quartz, 2 wooden sticks. Probably can. Yeah, let's put one together. We're gonna need it. No, that is not. That is a that is a drying rack. I don't need don't need one of those yet. I need a furnace. Let's see what I've got for it. So we don't have the stone troughs. We don't have enough quartz. We don't have enough wooden sticks. So we really don't have anything that we need at all. Kind of sucks. So I've still got a little bit of stamina left. So I think what I should do is go up to the... Up to the junkyard because I have a path to go in there and just rip everything apart with the stamina I have remaining. If I can, if there's anything more I'm allowed to take, yes. There's more mixed junk here for me that I can take apart. So the more stuff I can get, the better. I feel like I'm doing really well. I'm uh, collecting a load of resources already. I am already getting quite far along with making friends with Mian, for example. And I want to, to really get into that. Like l last time I was very much like, I don't want to do anything to do with this now. 
Uh, I don't think there's much else in here at the moment. Is it? Oh, there's a little bit of rubber scrap. Nice. Let's get that. Oh, no. I can't get it without a better pick hammer. Can't get down there without building the lift, so I guess... It's a case of running around and getting uh, stone scrap. So can I? No, can't do that one. So it's only the gravel rocks, I think, at the moment, and the stone scrap that I can grab. But I could definitely try and get enough DNAS together. I need to look out for these shiny scorpions as well. The other thing is... Oh, a sandworm, nice. They're all hard rocks around here, so I'm guessing I'll just need to go back closer to my workshop. Get some gravel. So if I can get enough um, DNAS together, I need 24 of it, apparently. So from breaking down gravel rocks and things, then I will be able to hand in my commission to Hugo tomorrow. This episode took an hour. I'm gonna, like, however slow the days take me is how slow they're gonna take me. Uh, to expand my yard, I'm gonna need a thousand goals. I will have that pretty soon, I think. I have a copper stick. Woohoo! Are there any more gravel rocks around here? There's not that much in the way of, like, stone... Um, in the way of, like, uh, stone junk. Junk piles. I definitely seem to get a lot more from my gravel rocks. We are now 16. Just a couple more and I'll be able to make it, but I don't know whether I will run out of stamina first. Oh, I've got a little level up and a little boost in stamina with my level up. Fantastic. Uh, so we're already level 4, which is wonderful. And if I can get my first commission done on the first day, as well as all of my... All of my quests. Well, obviously not the, the lift. I don't think I'll be able to do... If I could do the lift on the first day, that would be, like, pretty impressive, don't you think? Um, 23. Are you kidding me? There's a stone pile there. Did I get any DNAS from that? No, I've got dregs. Ah, oh, nightmare. six stamina left and I have enough to make my commission though but it is nearly midnight and we do need to go to bed at midnight in this game so I've got the stuff to make the saw blades but I am going to head to bed and we're going to make them first thing in the morning the very first thing in the morning we do will be to make those and we shall hand them in and then I shall go and do what I can to try my best uh, let's just get to sleep. Let's try my best to get the uh, crane lift done as soon as I can. So sleeping early before 2400, midnight, will ensure you always wake up fully rested, which we have done today, which is very unusual for me, but that is where I'm going to leave this episode. So I hope you enjoyed. We are back in it. I feel good and strong about it, and I feel like we're going to, like do this in a much more efficient way the things that are important to me are going to get done we're going to definitely find out a lot more about the individual characters and really dig into their stories as well so i hope you are excited to be along for the ride with me it's going to be really really cool so yeah i hope you enjoyed if you did then please do leave me a like below if you'd like to see more please subscribe then i can let you know when the videos are out i hope to see you next time in the meantime please look after yourselves and keep being awesome